Welcome to today's tutorial. Today's video is all about Google Classroom, our free online classroom software created by Google. Its purpose is to ease the process of sharing files between teachers and students. If you are a teacher, the first thing you need to do to set up your Google Classroom is to make one class. To do that, you click on the plus button in the top right of your screen and click create class. After doing so, you will see this form on your screen. With this, you will be able to edit your own class. In here, you can write the name of your class, the section which would appear as a subheading later, and the subject. Due to current circumstances with COVID-19, in the room category, you could just put your Zoom meeting ID and password instead. Seminode! By clicking this drop-down arrow, the Zoom meeting ID and password you put can be seen. Now that you've created your class, it's not complete yet without any students. As a matter of fact, there are several ways to invite students or even teachers to your classroom. You can first do so by going to the section titled People and click Invite Teachers or Invite Students, depending on the one you want to invite. Here, you can simply type in their email addresses or copy the invitation link to send to them. Another way to add people to your classroom is by clicking the settings icon on the top right. You can find the invitation link as well and also the class code which users can input to join. Note, make sure that the managed invitation code is enabled or else you won't be able to find these. You may find your class a bit boring, but no worries as you could change your banner and make it look way cooler. To do so, you could click on the select theme button and choose the many different banners Google Classroom offers. Or you could select your own banner by clicking the upload photo button and selecting your desired image. If you prefer using Google Meet to conduct your class instead of Zoom, you can actually make a Google Meet link directly in Google Classroom. You have to go to the settings icon on the top right again and click the generate meet link button beside the Google Meet logo. Then, Google Classroom will automatically generate your link which you can either send to students by copy-pasting it, or students can individually find them in your class description found in the class banner. You can also edit your stream settings so that only teachers can post or comment in the stream page. However, you can also change these settings to allow students to comment on post or both comment and post. To allow this, Simply go to the settings icon on the top right and choose from the drop down menu here your preferred settings. You can also edit classwork on stream so that it shows attachment and details. Show condensed notifications or hide notifications. Thank you guys for watching our YouTube video. Hope you learned new features from this tutorial and stay tuned for our next tutorial about Google Class. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notify bell. See you next time.